In this episode, we're about to give you 10 money-making phrases that you can post to social media and make $500 to $3,000 plus in just one week. In our community, we talk about seed money. Sometimes you need money to make money. And so we want to give you 10 prompts today that you can use right now to create seed money for your business. Now, whether you're creating money for your business or you just need to fund that next vacation or Christmas gifts coming up, this episode is for you. Now, we're literally going to read you exactly the prompts. So I encourage you just listen to this podcast and the one that you're drawn to, just pause the episode and type it out exactly how we say it. Because how we're saying it is in a very strategic way with good copywriting that's going to catch attention. But that being said, we're going to give this to you completely for free. This episode costs you nothing. However, there is one stipulation. If you continue listening to this, I'd like you to make this agreement with us. When you do one of these and it makes you money, $500, $3,000, $10,000, you need to come back and give us a review on this podcast. Is that an okay ask? Yes? Okay, I want to hear in your review. I want to list, I listened to this episode, number blank, and I made whatever money you made. Okay, I want to hear that in the episode because I want to celebrate you. And this is going to be an incredible episode for you. Really where this episode comes from is people oftentimes will focus on what they don't have, the lack of resources. But on this episode, we want to equip you with resourcefulness, looking around and seeing what you already have and multiplying that. I remember when I was a junior high and high schooler, I was hungry to make money. And back then I didn't have the internet. I didn't have social media. So I would post flyers in the places that my grandparents lived around my neighborhood. I would even go door to door, knocking on my neighbor's doors, giving them flyers, a list of things that I could do because I was hungry to make money. I even remember cold calling my neighbors because I would put a post-it note, I would put the flyer on their door and I didn't hear from them for like a week. And so Hungry Chelsea, who wants to make money, who knows she's skilled and qualified, I would cold call them wow. and I would say, hey, did you get my flyer? And of course they got my flyer, but it was just this conversation. I remember one time, like I did this with somebody, I really wanted to babysit her son. Um, and I think she had like older babysitters that she trusted a little more, which I understand, but she did hire me at least one. Nice. So I will say that my Close persistence the deal. Work. Close the deal. But I look at these prompts that we're about to give you and I'm like, man, I wish I had this when I was in junior high and high school because it is so easy to make money nowadays. And you might be, some of you might be like, yes, I I hear you, Chelsea and Steven. I agree with that. Or you might be thinking, heck no, it's easy to make a lot of money. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't believe you. And I'm here to tell you that like these social media prompts, if you take action, you can't just hear it and think like, oh, that's great. This works for somebody else, not for me. It can work for you if you take action. And I'm just telling you, I wish I had these when I was growing up. You know, Steven, I feel like you really did this in college. You had a problem. You wanted to make some quick money and you would create these businesses. And that's actually how you funded our very first camera that you bought in college, which started our business together. You sold things, you did different kinds of strategies that we're about to talk about. So it works if you put in the time and move from lack of resources to being resourceful. That's right. Everyone is resourceful or can be resourceful. And what Chelsea had as a junior hire was paper, a printer, and a phone. And she used those resources to create income. Now, not only will this work for your teenagers, but this will work for you. And so we're going to give you 10 ideas. But really what this is going to do is going to bubble up more ideas. And mm -hmm. you can take these prompts and modify them to things you have. Things you have, and a lot of you have time, a lot of you have research, a lot of you are already doing things that you can multiply. If you want to step into multiplication, you have to start with something. You can't multiply anything that starts with zero, right? It just ends up being zero. So you need to start with something, even if it's one, even if it's two, even if it's something really small to multiply. And that's really what we're focusing on is what you have and then multiplying them. Now, again, we're, gonna, we're about to say the prompts. And we, we wrote these in a very specific way because how you write on social media matters. And if you just write in a way that's not attractive, not exciting, it's not going to get engagement. If you also put too much of a call to action in there, like, hey, click this link or whatever, no one's going to see it. So we want to create posts on social media platforms like Facebook, like Instagram, like wherever you are online, like this is something we all have, right? Chelsea didn't have that as a junior high, but we all have the internet. Mm -hmm. And on the internet, there's tons of places. If you have friends on Facebook, I would go there. If you're in Facebook groups, I would go there. Right. There are places where you can find people like I know just in our small town, there's like tons of groups that just have 
people in our town, mm -hmm. right? You might not have a ton of friends, but you might be able to find a Facebook group where you have like, you know, your town and a bunch of people in that town in that Facebook group where you could post something like this. So these first prompts are more like labor stuff, okay? It's like stuff that people don't wanna do, but if you have time and you're willing to do these things, you can create cash fast. I'm not saying go build a business off these things. This isn't something you're probably gonna wanna do forever. But if you just need to raise 500, 1,000, 1,500, $3,000, you could do this for a short season to create the seed money to build your future off of. So the first one is garages. I feel like garages are always messy and people never wanna clean them. So here's the post you're gonna put on your social media platform of choice. You're gonna say this, realistically, comma, how much would you pay someone to clean your garage this weekend, question mark, okay? Realistically, comma, how much would you pay someone to clean your garage this weekend? Okay, the reason we're doing this strategically, we put realistically at the beginning, it feels like you're actually asking this question honestly, okay? And then you're putting, how much would you pay someone to clean your garage this weekend, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's very specific and it's very honest. If you just say, how much would you pay someone to clean your garage? It's a little more vague and people might say, oh, I'd pay a million dollars, right? It's not true. Okay, so we wanna have a little bit of a pattern interrupt with the realistically, and then the this weekend on the back end, which is specificity. You're gonna see that throughout <laughs> these prompts, and this is gonna get people to actually comment $100, $500, $300, and then guess what you're gonna do? You're going to message the people that commented the most amount of money. Okay, you can say, hey, I noticed you said $500. I would be willing to come out this weekend and make that happen for you. You, you don't have to babysit me, I'll handle it. I'll take everything out, clean it, I'll put it all back in an organized manner. We have a deal, okay? <laughs> now, it feels weird to pitch yourself like that, but this person literally asked you to solve their problems, okay? So if they said that they would pay $500 for this, take them up on the deal, message them and say, hey, I can legit do this. Does Saturday or Sunday work better for you? Mm -hmm. And just get a date on the calendar and make it happen. So prompt number two. Now, this is very similar to prompt number one, but worded just slightly differently. Here it goes. Prompt number two. Honestly. How much would you pay to have someone organize your pantry this weekend? Sweet. I feel like pantries are one of those ones that gets nice and dirty. And I would definitely pay someone to come organize my pantry and make it look awesome. Okay, prompt number three. Tell it to me straight, comma. <laughs> How much would you pay to have someone organize your closet this weekend? Mm. Okay. Now, closet is a little more sensitive. Some people don't want to invite you into a closet, but some people definitely do. And there's a whole industry built on closet organization, home organization. And if you can help someone do that, um, they will definitely pay you for it. Mm -hmm. Prompt number four, in all caps, do you have junk? Question mark. I'm doing a dump run on Saturday. $100 for a half truckload, $200 for a full truckload. Let me know what you have, and I'm happy to haul it away for you. Now, this one works great if you have a truck, okay? <laughs> However, if you push a, push a post out there like this and you get a lot of interest on this post, would it be worth it to rent a U-Haul truck? I think it's $25 an hour or something. Isn't it $25 a day? I think it's like $25 a day to rent a U-Haul truck, okay? You could rent the U-Haul truck. If you have three, four, five people, you could do a full day of dump loads and make $1,000 on a Saturday. Now, those prices we put in there were just kind of vague prices. You're not making a business out of this. So I would honestly go look in your area for people that do haul away junk, look at what they're charging and I would charge less than that. Because again, you're not making a business over this. You don't need to do a bunch of all that stuff that a business requires. So you can charge a, a deal on this thing that's gonna attract people to pay you. But also you're only doing this probably one Saturday or two Saturdays here and there to raise the money you need. Prompt number five, I'm running a hands-off garage sale. All you have to do is leave a box of your unwanted stuff on your front porch. I will pick it up, sell it for you, and pay you a majority of every sale. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to earn some money doing nothing and tidy up your home this weekend. Oh, Ooh, that's an attractive one. I would definitely take that offer um, because you're what you're doing here is you're saying, who wants to make money and literally do nothing and clean your home in the process? Like that is an amazing offer. I've, I'm running a hands-off garage sale. Mm -hmm. Like that is so, so amazing. And the reason we're saying drop a comment if you'd like to earn this, you're not saying message me, is because we want a lot of comments on this, which is gonna spike the algorithm of the social media platform to show this post to more people, right? You know how it is. You post a photo of your latte, it doesn't get a lot of comments, but you post a photo of your brand new baby, it gets a ton of comments. It's because when Facebook sees things as getting attention and comments, it shows it to more people. 
And so that's why we say don't, we don't say private message me if you want this. We say, let me know in the comments below. And then what I do is every comment, the people I comment back on their comments say, I messaged you, I DM'd you, I sent you a message. And that adds more comments to the post, mm -hmm. which gets it seen by more people. Prompt number six. I'm meal prepping this Sunday for my family. Who else has a family who doesn't want to worry about what you're making this week? I'm going to make three times the amount. So I have two spots for two families who want to eat well without the stress this week. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Whenever you can talk about the results it's going to produce in the person's life, it's going to go a lot further. So we're not just talking about, you know, making you meals. We're talking about eating well and no stress. Like, I mm -hmm. want that. Mm -hmm. Right. So I love this prompt. Prompt number six about meal prepping. This is easy. If you're doing it for your family, you could just multiply it. You could change the number based on how many people and how much you can make. And you could even, if you wanted to, post the menu. Here's what I'm making for my family this week. And I'm gonna, I can make th up to three times the amount. So I have spots for two families who want this meal or like this menu for their family this week. Prompt number seven. Now this one takes a little bit of work, but I'm encourage you, do not do the work until you have interest on this. Don't spend your time doing this until you have buyers, okay? So prompt number seven. I just created a PDF which covers exactly how to blank, okay? In the blank, you're gonna insert in something that you're good at exactly how to start a garden bed from scratch or exactly how to homeschool your kids in a fraction of the time, right? You're going to come up with something that you're good at, something you have a little bit of expertise on. You're a couple chapters ahead, something that comes easy to you. When other people see it, they're like, oh, I want to learn how to do that. So I just created a PDF, which covers exactly how to result without the pain of pain one, two, and three. Okay. So those are like ad libs. Okay. You're adding in this thing. So I just created a PDF, which covers exactly how to homeschool your kids without the pain of spending tons of hours doing curriculum, fighting with your kids, or having to sign up for some expensive program, right? So I just did what I just told you. I said, PDF, which covers exactly the result without the pain of blank, right? Okay, it's super simple format. I plan to launch this as a video course for $500, but I'd love some case studies of people who went through my $29 PDF, which covers all the core content, so just let me know if you're interested in the comments below and I'll send you all the details. Okay. Now that one is more complicated. You're thinking, Steve and Chelsea, I don't want to go create this PDF. Don't just push the post out, <laughs> push the post out. And if you get 20 people saying, I want the PDF, I want the PDF, then what you're going to do is message those people and say, I'm working on it right now. I'm super excited about it. Um, you could pay $29 now if you want, or I can hit you up when it's done to pay that. Let me know what you want. All right. You can even collect money for this thing. And then that puts pressure on you to go deliver in the next week right? Pretty, pretty cool. And you're not putting in any work. If this post flops and no one comments, then try a different one. Okay. You're not putting time into the PDF before you get interest that people are going to buy this PDF. Prompt number eight. When was the last time you clean your solar panels? I have three spots available. I love this one. This idea even came from somebody who came to our door and went to all of our neighbor's door yep. and was like, Hey, I'm cleaning your solar panels. Steve and I, we've lived in this home for three years now. We have solar panels. I don't think we've ever cleaned them. And we honestly didn't even know that cleaning solar panels was a thing. Yeah. Well, it is. And so um, I believe, didn't we hire them? I, I think, think we so. did. Yeah. So if you're going to do something like this, whether it's like a handy expertise, and there's lots of different ones like, you know, painting inside your home, like whatever yeah, it is. Power like washing. Power washing. Yeah. Like you actually need to be skilled in that area. So don't just like pretend like you know how just to watch a couple of youtube videos yeah. i mean solar panels can't be that hard to clean I mean, right you totally could do that but i'm here to tell you like if you're going to do one of these do a good job i think that goes without saying yes. but there's so many opportunities like you have expertise like hey like i'll come to your house and i'll give your car a tune-up slash oil change like i think people yeah, would pay oh money goodness. for that you'd be yeah. surprised so that's awesome yeah like the thing is you guys don't do anything that's like way too outside your comfort zone if you don't like going up on roofs but I mean, there's stuff like this that people pay for putting up Christmas lights, taking down Christmas lights, mm -hmm. cleaning solar panels, cleaning the gutters. Again, this is not to say go make a business doing this because that is going to be limited by your time. But this can be a quick side hustle to create seed money. So you can do a more leveraged business that buy back your time. Yeah. I even wish like we live in a small town, so there aren't as many services like this, but I've seen like, I wish like I love the mobile like cleaning machines or the mobile like dog grooming things. I think that's genius. I wish that there were more businesses yeah. like service based businesses like that. Like personally, where I'm at in life, like I would pay more for somebody to come to our house and like cut my hair than I would just going oh, to like 
um, the salon. I like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like getting out of the house. I like my girl. I'm not like breaking up with her, but I'm just saying like, say you are like a hairstylist. Could you for a short season say, Hey, my Saturday is opened up. I'm willing to take five clients this weekend. I will come to you, set up everything. Um, especially if you're wanting to make some extra cash, or maybe you're a mom who like, hasn't been in that profession for a while, but you still have skills. You can still totally do it. I think that could be a great way to create some extra seed money and a skill that you already know how to do. And people will pay a premium for convenience. hundred percent. And you know, it's really forgiving little boys haircuts. Okay. So <laughs> if you're already cutting your son's hair, like just offer it like that and go to yeah. people and do it. Like that would be very easy to do. I bet you'd have a line out the door. If people wanted to do that. I remember one day this guy knocked on our door and he uh, was like, Hey, I'll be super quick. I don't want to waste any of your time, <laughs> but I, I, I just painted your neighbor's uh, number on the curb. And I was wondering if you wanted to have yours done too. Not only will I paint it, but I'll also come back six months from now and repaint it if it faints at all. And he like was like, made this amazing offer to me. And he's like, it's just $20. And the thing was, what I think he did was he actually went to a neighbor first in our cul-de-sac and he painted their number for free. So he's like, hey, I'm going to paint your number for free. And then he went around to every other neighbor and said, hey, Bill just painted a number <laughs> on his thing. And because Bill did it, the rest of the neighbors did it. And so this guy made probably $60 off of our cul-de-sac by doing one for free. And it literally took him probably 10 to 15 minutes to do this. And he literally went around town doing that. And I just thought it was genius a way he's just providing a service. Again, knocking on doors, a little bit scary. And so that's why we're telling you just use social media because you're getting people to raise your hand instead of having to knock on doors. But if you had to knock on doors to create the cash fast, would you be willing to do it? These last two um, are a little more advanced, but I think if you take action on them, you're going to see a massive ROI in that C money that you're creating. So prompt number nine, local business owners. Have you ever wanted to be more present on social media, but don't have the time? I can help you create a whole month's worth of content in just one hour. All you need to do is show up and I'll have everything ready for you. Interested? Drop a comment down below with the type of business you own. And if it's a good fit, I'll reach out. I have three limited spots this month. That's good. There's a lot of business owners, specifically in industries that like, they are not really on social media. They know they should be, but they don't want to do the work. And so if you could come in with a service, I mean, I would charge a minimum of $500 a month to do this service. And you could probably even charge $1,000 plus for certain businesses, but they want to be on social media, but they don't want to spend all the time. So all you do is you come prepared. Okay. This is why you're charging a high amount. So you can come prepared with like, we're going to do these bunch of things in that one hour. Right. And out of that, I'm going to create a ton of content for you. Not only I'm going to create video content of shooting like reels, but I'm also going to take the thing that we do in the reel and I'm going to create text posts out of that. And I'm going to create quote posts as well. So you're going to create long form video content. Like I would honestly just spend the hour interviewing them and having like the top questions for their industry and just ask them those questions and have them answer right on camera. Then I would edit those down to reels. I would create long form text posts. I would create quote posts out of that. So you have three posts basically that can come out of every single question. And then you really just have to ask 10 to 15 questions and you'll have enough content for an entire. Yeah, I think there's a lot of businesses, like Steven said, that don't know anything about social media, but know the importance of it. So you coming alongside of them and helping them create the content could be huge. And with something like this, I want to encourage you be specific about what you're willing to do and what they need to do. So are you going to be the one posting the content for them? Or are you just delivering the content? So think through that a yeah. little bit and have it very clearly communicated, laid out. If you want them to have multiple outfits during the interview, if there are questions in advance they should know about, give them all of that. And I think based off of how much you're giving them, you can provide like a specific service and charge accordingly. If that last one's overwhelming you, you don't have all those skill sets yourself, that's okay. We always encourage people to level up and build your team. So instead of charging maybe $500, maybe charge $1,000, $1,500, maybe you charge $3,000 a month and you only work with a specific niche of people that have the business revenue to support something like that. And then you can build a team of people underneath you that edit the videos, that write the copy and do all the stuff. And you could get paid to manage the people who do the thing. And again, this is more getting into like building a business, okay? I, we were trying to give you a bunch of side hustles. We want to expand your mind on what's possible. And that leads us into uh, prompt number two. So prompt number 10, in all caps again, local business owners, 
Is it time for a logo refresh? Question mark. I have one spot open for a total design makeover this week. All you do is fill out a questionnaire and I'll have my team go work and make something amazing for you. Awesome. Now we always, like you notice on these prompts, we have like some sort of kind of catchy thing at the beginning. That's getting the person that uh, this service is for attention. So that's why I put all in, in all caps, local business owners, dot, dot, dot. The rest is not all caps and I'm you're not like yelling the whole time, but like local business owners at the top is going to catch the attention of local business owners, right? Is it time for a logo refresh? I have one spot open for a total design makeover. Now here's the trick on this one. You don't need to be a designer to do this. We use a site called Fiverr all the time. Fiverr is a website where you can pay people to like do work like this. You can find tons of services on Fiverr. And we do something called Fiverr flipping sometimes in our community. We teach on this where you're going to start to manage the people who do this stuff. And so for you, you could go find someone on Fiverr who can do logos. You can find people to do this for $15, $25, $50, $100, $100, $150, $500. Like you can find people who design logos on Fiverr for all different ranges. And then you can charge those local business owners more to manage the project. Because you just said, honestly, here, I'll have my team go to work for something amazing for you. So you're going to be the middle man or middle woman between the Fiverr artist who's doing the design and the client. And so you're going to send the questionnaire to the client. They're going to answer it. You might even get on a one-on-one -on -one call with them and ask them those questions, provide that service. But then you can work with the Fiverr designer and you're telling the Fiverr designer what they're telling you and how to change it and revisions. And then you're delivering an amazing. So there it is, our 10 prompts that you can use right now on social media to make you $500, $1,000, even upwards of $3,000 to use as your seed money for your business. Now, copywriting is really important in how you write these. Uh, we have a really specific way that's going to really work on these platforms. And so we're going to use Facebook as the example. If you want to see visually how we would write these out, exactly the spacing, everything like that. Of course, you can change stuff to your own language, but we've just done this type of thing for a long time. So we know what works and what doesn't. And so we put together a visual PDF. If you'd like to download that, we're going to put it in the, we're going to put it inside the show notes down below. Just click that link. You'll see all the visuals of how to do these. And you can literally just like copy and paste over to your own social media and try these out. And remember, when you go and take action and make money on one of these prompts, Come back, leave us a review. Tell us how much money you made. We want to hear from you. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Rainmaker Family Show. Go crush it on this episode. And if you don't need that quick cash right now, I bet someone in your life does. So grab the link to this episode and share it with that person that comes to mind right now. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Rainmaker Family Show. Hey, if you are not a part of our Rainmaker Mastermind, we have a new opportunity for you to book a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with one of our Rainmaker coaches. If you want to get a call with them, see if it's a good fit for you to work with us to build a business that allows you to have time freedom and financial freedom, you can get that call at makeitrainmama.com slash podcast. That's makeitrainmama, M-O-M-M-A, dot com slash podcast.